Hey Tubes, we got Mike here. Say, hey, Mike. Hey, what's going on? Uh, he's, uh, we got uh, we got two of our blocks together. Oh, we're getting ready to weld it. We uh, we're going to use nickel rod on there, and uh, we're going to be using this uh, industrial arc. I think uh, what do you got it, Mike? About 80, 110, or something like that. Yeah, it's about 80 amps. But check us out, Tubes. We weren't supposed to get this. We've got about. Uh, Four inches of snow, actually, almost almost four, five or six inches, Mike. Yeah. This is crazy. Like we're, we're supposed to get a dusting, and then and then the rain was supposed to wash it away, and we got about uh, five or six inches in the last uh, two hours. All right, we're going to get back to Mike and uh, let him start welding. All right, I feel like I'm in Canada. All right. All right. Mike is going. Watch your eyes. I don't want you guys to hurt your eyes on there. That's why I let Mike do my welding. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. All right. This is Cash, so what he's doing is uh, he's only welding about an inch at a time and, uh, and then painting it over. This rod, they tell you not to preheat. You don't have to preheat. So we're going to try and see if it's, you know, it works that way. Usually we'll, we'll preheat it, and if we have to, we will. But we're going to see how this stuff acts. All right. What you doing here, Mike? Still peening. Peening, huh? Cast iron, got to peen it. Yep. Mike's killing it. We got the, fir the first two blocks done, now we're uh, working on the other two blocks. I don't know if we're going to be able to nail them together tonight, but... We're going to get close. We're going to, yeah. We're, we're making progress. Alright, watch your eyes. Okay, watch your eyes, Tubes. Here it goes. Look at him. Steady as she goes. Alrighty. I guess we'll show you the other blocks. What's your procedure then, Mike? You're just doing uh, what, one inch at a time? Yeah, not an inch at a time. If he does it one inch at a time, that means alternate, you, right? yeah, alternate it from one side of the block to the other, and he keeps painting it, then he doesn't have to preheat it. You know, it worked good for the other the other block. The other block didn't uh, crack. Yeah. I'm ready. You see, he's flipping over. Going to the back side now. Ready. All right, here's where we're at. This is uh, it's the next day. You know, me and Mike worked on these all all day. It was uh, a Sunday, and Mike had to go to work, so we we didn't uh, we didn't complete all we wanted to, but uh, we we got a, a good bit done. We got uh, two of the blocks. You see that welded in the middle, and then another two there. So we got uh, two duels. We just have to weld them in the middle. And uh, and they'll be done done welding. Mike did a really nice job welding. It looks like shit because you got to peen them. But when he first welded that man, things were so nice and smooth you couldn't even tell it was welded. But like I say, you got to peen it. So did a nice job in the back, both sides. It's coming out really well. Remember this we're, this isn't going to be a, a how-to video. We're not showing you guys how to build these things. It's just a progress report, you know. To show you guys how we're doing so uh, it's probably gonna be a short video uh, next time Mike comes back we'll uh, we'll start up again and uh, we'll weld them together alrighty see you later alright Mike is back here and he's got his uh, his four blocks all welded not welded he's gonna start welding the middle there right. say hey Mike how you doing? look he's got his helmet on he's ready to go yeah. Little racer stopped over to supervise. How's he doing, buddy? Doing pretty good. Okay. So all I got to do is weld that one up in the middle, and we'll have us a quad. Right. All right. Go ahead, buddy. Is everything hooked up? Yeah, we're ready to go. All right. Go ahead.
There it goes. Mike the welder. All right, I don't want you guys to hurt your eyes. All right, here you go. It's uh, the next day from, uh, well, I guess I signed off, but uh, I figured I'd show you this. This, this is a huge step. It's monumental in this progress here. Because uh, without these welded together like this, we really, I, I couldn't do anything more. Mike couldn't do anything else. But now that they're welded together, Mike can uh, start working on the crankshaft, the camshaft, all the modifications of the internals of this. And uh, I can start working on the heads. Got to cut the head. See how much bigger that is. So I can, I can cut the heads and make the intake manifold and exhaust manifolds. And most importantly, I can start working on the base, connecting them all together, welding them up. So uh, that's where we're at. Like I say, this was huge. This, this is probably the toughest part of the whole job. So uh, now we can continue on. I had Frank watching the whole procedure over here, Frank and Missy, making sure we're uh, doing doing a good job. So, all right, I'm gonna call it quits for this video, and uh, I don't know when this will be put up. So, did a nice job. You did a beautiful job with that welding. Like I say, it looks like hell, but that's that's how it's got to be. You know, I mean, you you make a nice smooth weld, then you got to beat the hell out of it. You know, with a, with a sharp pointy hammer. So, all right, we'll see you when we get uh, something else done.